Um, okay, so here is a nifty. Let's check the daily time frame. Okay, daily time frame today is bearish. Okay, so looks like it reached uh, 20,000, almost reached 20,000, like I mentioned before. And then today is retracing. So um, it's retracing, but last time the market was supported by the Tenkan Sen and bullish. So that means this time the market may consolidate, but it may be supported by the Tenkan Sen and goes up. So when the market touches Tenkan Sen and it, when you can confirm the pushback, then that could be one of the good entry timings. But if the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then the market may go down to Kijun Sen or the previous resistance level. Uh, 195015 so you have to watch out maybe short term sell may be the right call but i don't recommend because um it may be not time efficient time efficient and the market may be very choppy like uh for example like uh here in this case um this is bullish in terms of Ichimoku, we look at the market in three different terms. One is the long term, which is captured by the Kumo long term. And then Kijun Sen shows the mid term. And then uh, Tenkan Sen shows the short term. So, simply when the price is below, above, simply when the price above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo, this means it's bullish from short to mid to long term. So, as Goichi Hosu says, no doubt, you buy and hold. But if, if the market breaks a Tenkan Sen, then that means in the short term, it became bearish. In the short term, it became bearish, but still in the mid to long term, it's bullish. So he says it's still a buy. But realistically speaking, the market may retrace. It's in the middle of the retracement. Sellers are stronger than sellers in the short term, strong, stronger than buyers in the mid to long term, and that's why the market goes down. So you can follow the downtrend in the on the short term traders, but still mid term and long term buyers are here. So that means this is where the fight between the mid-term and long-term buyers and short-term sellers happening and that's why the market tends to be very spiky it may be very choppy when you see that until the market reaches down to that resistance or the Kijun Sen so I'd say that will be the downtrend in the short term but it may be a bit risky to sell and we never know how long it takes for the market to reach the resistance or Kijun Sen. It may take few days or it may take few weeks or few months. Uh, especially when it starts to consolidate from here and breaks the Kijun Sen bullish. Let's say so the market breaks the Kijun Sen bearish. But it may become a fake out like uh, previous like this. And then uh, the market may come up above the Tenkan Sen. And then we may go up. In that case, you may lose. Or even if the market breaks the Tenkan Sen bullish, it may again break Tenkan Sen bearish and continue to range. The market may be range. So the bottom line is that when you see the price above Tenkan Sen, it's buy. But I don't recommend you to sell or buy when the price is in between Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen. Especially in this case. In some other cases, I don't mind um, buying the market, even if the market is between Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen. But especially in this case, since the market may retrace, um, I don't, I don't feel comfortable to buy from here, even if the market touches the resistance, uh, previous resistance. I don't recommend to buy. At least you have to wait for some kind of a bullish confirmation 
could be one of the Sakata Goho structure. And then uh, you buy. And see if the market goes up to uh, 20,000 again. So that will be the strategy to do uh, in this uh, Nifty chart. Yeah, but even so, um, because I trade Forex mainly and I have 21 pairs on my watch list, uh, if this one is like this, then simply I don't trade and I pick some other pairs among the Forex pairs and trade. And that's why I trade Forex. In Forex, I choose 21 pairs and one of these pairs can be trending every week. So this is kind of, kind of like a risk hedge uh, for me to trade. If one is ranging, but other one is trending, then I take the other one to, to trade. But if you only trade Nifty or some index, specific index, then you have to be exact on uh, where enter trade or exit trade. Or maybe you can trade Forex at the same time and uh, you know, support your uh, profits in that way, diversify your assets and profits in that way. I hope you become a non-losing trader. In Ichimoku community, I share the original knowledge of Ichimoku. In KTS Academy, I share my original strategy including risk and psychology management. In GTS, I mentor your trades and follow up one on one closely for the three months. Take a survey to find out which course suits you the best. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press like button and please subscribe. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you very much.